Hi guys, welcome back to Firestorm Games, and in this video we're going to be looking at the new releases for the Death God, notably the new Plague Marines. Now we have already seen the Plague Marines featured in the Dark Imperium box set, but this is the first time we've actually seen them as a multi-part kit. Now this box set comes with enough components to create seven Plague Marines. And these components have been spread over three sprues. Now inside the box, as well as the sprues, we also get an instruction booklet as well. Now this instruction booklet is pretty much a standard for the newest Games Workshop kit. Everything's very clear, it's full colour, all the components are individually numbered, and those numbers correspond with the components on the sprue. So you know exactly which sprue uh, to look at, and exactly which component to use at each step of the way. At the back of the booklet, you also get a rules listing for this unit as well, which is great if you don't have access to the Death Guard Codex, because it means you know exactly what uh, components you can actually equip your unit with, and you can actually make a legal unit, even if you don't have access to the main rules. So with the contents of the box locked at, let's get these miniatures assembled. Now these miniatures are packed full of Nurgle aesthetics. These range from things like tentacles and bony protrusions to bulbous plated armor and also things like um, plague weapons as well. Now the actual armor that these guys are wearing is a very reminiscent of the Mark III Heresy era armor. Now this is actually pretty much in keeping with the fact that these units were equipped with these at the actual time of the Horus Heresy and then when they went into the Eye of Terror they pretty much kept the armor and this is mutated into the armor that we see them wearing today. The ancient armor that we see these miniatures wearing is very much in keeping with the other units that we've seen released for the Death Guard, such as the Death Shroud Terminators and also the Blight Lord Terminators as well, which are equipped with Cataphracty Power Armor. So with the aesthetics covered, let's talk about some of the weapon options that we get in this kit. Now there are enough components in this kit to equip your Plague Marines with all of their available weapon options. These include some of the heavier weapons such as the Blight Launcher and the Plague Spewer, all the way down to some of the close combat weapons such as the Mace of Contagion and the Flail of Corruption. In addition to this, you also get enough components to represent an Icon of Despair and also a Unit Champion as well. However, there is one drawback to this kit. All the special weapons that you get in this set are limited to one. Even though in the rules you can actually equip your units with two Blight Launchers or two Plague Spewers, you will have to get a couple of kits if you want to represent two of these miniatures in your units. Now whilst these miniatures come with a good range of weapon options, you are quite limited on how much you can customise your miniatures. Whilst you do get a couple of head options and a few body options as well, you are pretty much limited on the poses of your miniatures. In addition to this, the special weapons are limited to a particular body, which means that unless you want to do some conversion work, you're going to have lots of similar poses throughout your army. Now whilst this can be seen as a drawback, it's actually quite good in the sense that it allows these miniatures to have a lot more detail and a lot more character in them. A perfect example of this is the miniature equipped with a Great Plague Cleaver, as this miniature has a tentacle emanating from his torso and holding onto the axe as well. If these miniatures were a little more poseable, then these kind of details probably wouldn't have been present. However, apart from these drawbacks, these kits really are great to look at. The Nurgle aesthetics are very strong on these miniatures, and they'll fit perfectly with the rest of the new miniatures that have been released as part of this Death Guard range. And here we have some of the fully assembled Plague Marines, which concludes this look at these new miniatures. Now, if you are to pick up some of these Death Guard Plague Marines for yourself, the RRP of this particular kit is £30. However, it's available on the Firestorm Games web store for £25.50. And, and you can find a link to the Firestorm Games web store on the screen now and also in the description below. Now, since we changed the format of these unboxings a few videos ago, we've had some really good feedback. So do expect to see more in this style in the future. And as always, make sure you give us your suggestions for the kind of kits and miniatures you would like to see us cover. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to check out our Quickly Painting Guide for painting your Death Guard Plague Marines. And I'll include a link to that video in the description below as well. So with that, the final thing left to say is a big thank you from us for watching this video, and we'll see you again on Firestorm Games.